hi all this is sampath in the today video tutorial i am going to show how to change vendor master in sap ecc and sap has for hana okay without any further delay let's get started to change vendor master in sap we can use transaction code xk02 mk02 and fk02 in case of if i use the xk02 transaction we can change both company code data purchasing organization data and general data at a time in case if we using transaction code mk02 we can change only general data and purchase organization data in case transaction code fk02 in that case we can change only general data and company code data to change vendor master data xk02 is recommended t code but before that you need to have the authorization to access the particular transaction code okay now i am going to enter xk02 okay i am entering slash n xk02 why i am entering slash n so because i want to close the present transaction and i want to open new transaction that's why i used slash n okay now press enter key yeah we directly landed to vendor master change screen okay so here suppose i want to change the general data in case i want to change the general data no need to enter any organization data here just select the address data control data or payment transaction data okay contact person data also if required okay now press enter key okay now here we can change the vendor address suppose i want to change the vendor address okay so now i changed the vendor address now go to the next screen by clicking on next screen option or press enter key also okay yeah so here i want to add the vendor gst in number okay so i added vendor gst in number here in the tax number 3 field now press enter key in my case payment transactions not required hence i leaving it blank here i am going to enter contact person okay now press enter key yes now click on save option now my vendor master data successfully saved now we can see the vendor change history data just press enter key in menu bar click on environment go to account changes here click on all fields here we can see all changed data so just double click on this we can see this is the old data this is the new data come back yeah so like that we can see all the changed data in vendor master okay to change company code data you must enter company code number company code key here now select the required views press enter key here you can change the company code related data to change purchase organization related data enter purchase organization remove company code just untick the all the unwanted views now press enter key here we can change the purchase organization related data okay if you want to view the list of vendor master we can use the transaction code mkvz slash n mk vz press enter key here enter your purchase organization and vendor account group now click on execute option now system displays the all the available vendor master in purchase organization 1000 and vendor account group 3001 here we can see the number of vendors okay this report we can just use like excel sheet we can drag the columns like this we can drag the column like this 
okay we can sort we can sort ascending and descending we can filter okay we can download also to download just click on the list select export select spreadsheet okay now click on right mark select the path now click on save option click on allow list of vendor master download it to excel sheet so here we can change the layout of the screen by just clicking on this change the layout option okay so here click on the here just move this to right side yeah click here just drag and drop here so select the vendor field click on a arrow we can move to top okay now click on right mark or if required you can save it to save click on save has give the name now select user specific checkbox now click on right mark click on right mark now we got the perfect vendor master report we can download also okay now i'm going to show how to change vendor master in bp transaction we can also use xk02 transaction enter the transaction code bp now press enter key so this is the selection criteria in my case i am selecting number just enter the business partner number now click on start option okay now double click on this business partner number yes now here we can change so it is in display mode now go to the change mode yeah so now we can add anything or we can change the address data of the vendor master okay how we can change to company code related data so just change the bp rule i am going to change the bp rule to fi supplier yes so when i change the bp rule to fi supplier so company code appears here okay now click on the company code here i am going to add payment terms payment terms i'm going to add 3001 i'm going to select duplicate invoice check check box okay once we add the required data just click on the save option yes now our vendor master company code data saved okay here we can see the pop up message okay so now how we can track the what data we changed in vendor master okay so just go to the extra option so here select the change history here select the for the field okay just click on this here we can see the all change data okay so which data i keep cursor so for example just i close this so i keep cursor on this duplicate in my check check box okay now go to the extras here select for the field it shows the all the change history of particular field okay now close this okay save it now we can change the vendor master purchasing data to change vendor master purchasing data first we need to change the bp rule change the bp rule to supplier now click on purchasing enter your purchasing organization okay so now i am going to add payment terms okay just click here select your payment terms now click on save option okay our data is saved now how we can track the changes by field so just keep cursor here go to the extra go to change option here 
select the for the field here we can see the data so this is the old data this is the new data okay now close this we can also change the vendor master data in mass by using the transaction code xk99 this video i already did i shared the video link in description that's it today tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel thank you